It's a Crocs kind of day because we're doing house painting. It's been on our to-do list for a while. Finally getting around to it. Ben's been pressure washing all the walls. Don't mind this couch. This is a couch Ben got for free and he couldn't say no. We gotta figure out what to do with that. I feel like you're just wetting the walls. It's a lot comes off. Yeah? Yeah, you can see it. Like it'll get all that stuff off and everything. Oh, nice. All right, so this is one of the last steps in our little house renovation that we've been doing. Uh, this is Ben's house. A lot of people are like, why would you do all this to a rental house? This has been bought the house. So he's just trying to get it all nice and dialed before it's too late. It's like one of those things, if you do it now, you'll actually get it done. If you don't do it now, you'll never do it. So we're just trying to knock out all these fun little projects. It's super satisfying though. House renovating stuff is satisfying because it's pretty easy to do. And there's a big change at the end, you know, like we're going to go from this whatever color this is to like a nice gray. So I'll show you guys the colors when we start painting, but we don't get to it. It's probably gonna take all weekend. We got the pool deck pressure washed. It's crazy, you don't realize how dirty something is until you clean it. Like this was black. The problem is the water drains to the edge here and there's nowhere for it to go, so it just kind of builds up mold there. Yeah, we still gotta finish pressure washing this side. Uh, the hoses didn't want to reach, and then Ben's pressure washer, the hose blew. <laughs> so what I gotta do is go, it looks like Ben already started and just basically caulk all the gaps or all the cracks in the wall just so that you know they're not there when we paint it so just put caulk on all those i guess that's the best way to do it it shouldn't be too bad i don't know it should be super satisfying though pressure washing the pool deck extra satisfying oh, so fun to pressure wash when there's like a big change you know and Look what UPS just dropped off. New garage built hats. Really, really stoked on these. I was looking at different colors to do the new garage built hats in, and I found this navy that I really liked. And then we did these leather patches, um, like sewn in with the garage built logo. Super nice. Really, really happy with how these came out. It is sick. I am so hyped to have a nice garage built hat finally. We finished up the pool deck. It is a massive transformation. We weren't even intending on doing this, but it looks drastically better. It's actually white now. So now we're gonna start on the painting. The uh, walls actually ended up drying enough uh, for us to start on this wall and the back wall over there. But are you hyped? I just wanna get this stuff over but with. But you're not hyped? I'm not, I'm, I'm hyped, you know. You Hell yeah, man! Hell yeah! Dude, that looks sick! That's so sick! When I wake up in the morning, I drink a Mountain Dew cause it's gonna be extreme! <laughs> that made me uncomfortable. We got a super late start today because we were waiting on everything to dry, but we got this wall done and this wall done. We still got to tape up the edges and go in with a paintbrush to get all the corners, but we got the bulk of it covered. It was just really tough because since it's stucco texture, like even like you can probably see right there where it's still white, there's just a bunch of spots like that, like right there. You can't really get paint in there. You just have to just lay it on super heavy. So we already went through a five gallon bucket of paint just on these two walls. All right, so we've got something a little different for you guys today. So these guys both drift Miatas, which is a rare occurrence. They swapped this motor in and we're having some issues with it. He bought, the kid who owns this car bought my Mega Squirt, the one off my car, which is like an MS1 box with an MS2 chip in it basically. Um, and the other guy bought my angle kit. So they do um, like painting bathrooms. So they're gonna paint the tile in my bathroom, which is like pink right now. Um, they're gonna paint it and make it white. And then I think, what, our countertops? Is yeah. that, that the other thing? Countertops. So anyway, uh, they're doing that. In exchange, we're gonna try to fix the car. <laughs> so basically it's intermittently not starting. We think it's probably a crank sensor or a cam sensor. 
Oh, did you just pull the whole connector off? No, that's how it is. That's why uh, I was saying it's probably bad. Oh, yeah. Because it needs So we should to... probably do that first. So basically, we're going to try to get it running on the stock ECU correctly. And then if we can get it running on stock ECU, then we'll switch to the Mega Squirt and try to make it work with the Mega Squirt. I think that's probably our best plan of action. Would you say, Ben? I think so. <laughs> Definitely make it run on stock first. Yeah, that way we know all the issues are sorted out. And if we're fighting any issues, it's with the Mega Squirt, not with something else. All right, Kaz is swapped. Uh, we are going to put the Mega Squirt in now. My old oh, Mega Squirt. <laughs> Also, Florida weather right now, amazing. Clear blue skies, that's how you know it's a good weather day. I don't know what it is about the clear blue skies, but it's like when it's perfect weather out in Florida and Georgia, from my experience, you always get this like clear, like dark, dark blue sky. It's so, it's so nice, it's so nice. I just can't, I just wanna work on stuff. Like, I couldn't imagine being stuck inside today with it being so beautiful out. I would be so sad. <laughs> Cycle the key again, see if it'll... It's turning it off. Yeah, it's just grounding because it's, it's got to calm the ground. I can't tell if the injectors are clicking or not. All right, well, we got all the settings updated in the Mega Squirt. Trying to get it to start. They tried a couple times, but it's just not, it's just not going. Like we pulled that Mega Squirt out of my car and it ran my car just fine. Which is weird that it's not working. But I have to go. <laughs> I have prior engagements, so I will not be able to see the glorious finish when Ben figures it out. He's gonna figure it out. I have faith. I wanna check out our kitchen counters. Looking mint. Ben was hungry, so he brought the microwave to the living room to microwave some white castles. We had a change of heart. This color, you probably can't see it in the video, but it just looks like bluish purple. Especially when the sun hits it, it looks like straight up purple. It's really dark too. So we had to enlist Ben's mom <laughs> to come help us pick out a color that didn't suck. So I'm pretty sure I picked out this color. I'm pretty sure I found the thing. It might have been his little sister, don't know. We're not sure on that, but slowly rotate this around and show you guys. I mean, Give me a minute here. It's rotating. It's going. Ta-da! It looked like green gray in the store. Uh, and it's kind of blue. I guess it's green. It's like a teal. I think we'll look good with the blue shutters. It's a much nicer looking color. That is for sure. This is Ben's brother, Nate. We enlisted more labor. Yeah, all in all, definitely happier with this color. It's not my house, so it doesn't really matter, but it's a nice color. I think so. Uh, so, basically, we got 20 gallons. We've almost gone through five already. But we've got a lot covered. Well, I, well, more than yesterday with five, I would think. Uh, probably, yeah. So we do have to repaint the section that we painted yesterday, but hopefully we can knock out most of it today. At least the major thing, like. Yeah, and just do trim later. Trim yeah, I'll update you guys when we make some more progress. We got a good bit of the painting done. Wall that's really left right now is the back wall in the pool area and then the side wall. So not that much, we've probably got two thirds of it done. Uh, however, I have a lot of stuff to get finished before this trip, which is in like three days. So I need to get on that. So what I'm gonna do is start working on the trailer. Got trailer stuff to do today. Hopefully my brakes come in, we got that. I need to work on some wiring. I need to mount trailer tires. I need to mount this light that I have in my back pocket. I'll show you, watch out. Cause I broke my last center light and you're supposed to have one if it's over 82 inches. Uh, let's see, what else? The pretty solid TIG weld I did last night. I need to work on my restarts, and at the end I ran out of argon. The bottle said empty for like a solid 10 welds, but anyway, really happy with that. Getting pretty consistent-ish, getting there. This is obviously really easy to weld because it's thick, but still proud nonetheless. So I'm gonna go hook the old trailer up and whip it on over here. Oh, I took my old light off. It only has one wire, which this one actually has an extra wire for brake lights to be on so it can get brighter. Uh, however, this only has one wire going to it. I'll see about adding the brake wire, but we'll just get it wired up normal for now because that's not like crucial. It's not needed, uh, but we are going to have to drill a bigger hole out for this, like where the wires come out. It's pretty big there. Needs to be bigger. Okay, I'm going to have to measure this to figure out what's center. 
freaking stepper bits for the win. The biggest drill bit I had was a half inch. Uh, this thing, where'd it go? Where'd I put it? This was bigger. It's probably, uh, I don't know, like five eighths or so, something like that. Not much bigger, but bigger enough to where it wasn't gonna work. And I did not think a stepper bit would be able to go through this thick of steel, because this is pretty thick. Uh, but it ate right through it, like real quick. One thing I will say is I used to dread anything that involved drilling through steel. And if you get yourself a pack of nice bits, it's really not bad. It, you gotta go super slow. But when I finish, I go real slow. And when I finish, the bits aren't even hot. So I think that might be what's helping me. But these are Cleline bits. I just got them at Lowe's because Home Depot is too far. Steve uh, highly recommends the Milwaukee ones. He told me to get those and I went to get those and then found out that Lowe's didn't carry them. I was on a time crunch, got the Cleolines. But anyway, just a nice set of bits, take care of them, drill slow, so worth it. I used to always buy cheap crappy bits because I'm like, I'm gonna mess them up anyway, and miserable, miserable. Like sometimes you can't even get through the steel. You're sitting there forever. Uh, so go slow, nice bits. Anyway, well that was a bit of a process. <laughs> Kept snapping off the uh, self tappers even after pilot drilling them, but got the satisfying part down. Whew. Look at that, fresh to death. Gangster trailer mods okay so I'm trying to diagnose why my driver's side turn signal quit working slash brake light um, and I was like okay it's somewhere you know some sort of break in the wire some issue but then checking that my passenger side one isn't working either anymore so I'm trying to get to the root of the cause short of rewiring the whole trailer today because I just don't have time uh, so this is like double butt connector these look solid they're like glued or Something, I don't know. They did something. They sealed them up. They seem solid, but these are pretty drank. A lot of the wires exposed. Their wires corroded from being exposed. So I'm gonna cut all this off, reconnect it, um, and see if that solves any of our problems. Regardless, it needs to be done. So it's, it's a good starting point. Oh, and the brakes. The biggest thing that I'm worried about is the brakes. The brakes used to work and then they just stopped working. And after having trailer brakes, you really want trailer brakes because trailer brakes are nice to have, especially since we're going up, you know, into like a mountainous area. We're going to be going up and down mountains. I definitely would like to have trailer brakes, you know, It'd take a lot of strain off my truck. So hopefully we can figure it out. We'll find out. But before it gets dark, I'll give you guys a little tour of the house and finish in the back wall now. It looks really good. We, we can't decide on who actually picked out the color, but it was me. I'm just going to say it was me. I'm just gonna say it was me. It was my mom. <laughs> it was Ben's mom. It looked definitely a little more green. Ah, it looks pretty much like it did in the store. It's like a greenish gray. It's kind of, it doesn't really pick it up super well on the camera. Can't really tell. It looks good though. Looks obviously way better than the 20 year old or whatever paint that was on there. Looks pretty solid. I think this color goes well with the brown roof and such. We're gonna do white on all the trim. So obviously these poles, this wood here, not sure about that Gra garage door. We're gonna do white on this overhang deal over here. Ben's brother got most of this painted as well. Still gotta do trim work and stuff, like the edges and all that stuff, it's but. The bulk, like it's got like the coats on yeah. it. Yeah, like the walls are all painted. It's you still just... a solid day of like cleaning it up and painting it. Yeah, and... To, like, taping everything off and painting the edges and all that stuff. Okay, well, <laughs> that didn't really solve any problems. Still have brake lights, brake lights work, or tail lights, like running lights, which is the most important thing. I reloomed all this, made it all nice, heat shrunk connectors, everything, still same issues. <laughs> yeah, so I was, I was trying to, to like set my brake controller to stay on so I could come check power at the brakes. And basically the only way to really do that is to press the brake and then pull a little test lever. Uh, so what I do with my old one is I would clamp it and it would just stay on. But with this one, it's kind of like a weird shape. So when I tried to clamp it shut, it just broke, broke off and broke on. So I had to cut power to it. So we ain't, we ain't gonna have brakes <laughs> for this trip. It should be fine. The truck's got pretty solid brakes. It just, I don't know. I like being extra safe. You know, I, if I have to stop short, I want to be able to stop short, but that's okay. That's okay. Uh, what else do we have to do? I need to mount tires on the spare rims. That's really important. So we're gonna do that now. I never 
would have thought I would have to use the fire blowing up trick on trailer tires to get them to mount. They're like five inch wide wheels or something, six. I never would have thought, they just didn't want a seat because the tire like folds in so much in the center, but we got them on, that's all that matters. Uh, I think I'm gonna call it for the day slash this video and everything. Uh, we got a lot to do tomorrow, a lot to do Tuesday uh, and all that stuff. And then we've got this really cool trip coming up, which I hope you guys will tune in for because it should be a lot of fun. Um, it's a really like a cool trip. I'm very excited for it. It'll be my first like really far out of state trip. First time at the Dragon, especially in the Z. It, it should be a good time. So uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Goodbye.